Hello everyone, this is Luke Steele from Empire of the Sun and you're watching Marsh Cam. My favourite song from the new album to play live would be Concert Pitch. That song, I guess when I first wrote it, it reminded me a lot of Bruce Springsteen and Tom Petty mixed into one. It has that great kind of swagger to it and yeah, I wrote it in America in a Santa Monica hotel room, so you know it's got American roots as well where I was born. And yeah, it's like I get to kind of swag like the boss, I guess. So. <laughs> we have this song, um, Swordfish Hot Kiss Night from the first record, and it's, to me it's sort of like a futuristic R&B song. It's um, that's sort of a mix of different kind of tuned vocals and fast phrasings. It's sort of like LSD, Destiny's Child or something. That's good because we have the Swordfish Girls and it's quite like future spaz kind of thing. Yeah. You know, there's quite a few on the, the new record that like one was concert pitch was a favourite, like you know I wrote that after I had a real, I don't know, I guess breakdown or, um, you know, what is it? yeah just like a bender in New York and kind of just like confused about the whole, you know, position in the, in like, you know, my entertainment musical life and where I was and then came in the studio and there was that, that lyric like, I don't want to be so complicated. And it sort of leads on, but the first line, I, I really love, you know, shouldn't be complicated, you know, it should be kind of simple, you know, your life, so. Yeah, I think probably my favorite moment was when I knew that the record was finished and leaving the studio and, you know, the sun was going down over the Hollywood Hills and it had this red, like, glow to it, like I was sort of on Mars and I got home and my wife, we cooked a roast dinner and my daughter was playing Barbies and then we cracked a bottle of champagne and we had a cheers and we just said, record, done. You know, Nick's so amazing the way he thinks, you know, it's kind of like, you know, going to a museum and you see a painting and you go, oh, I want like, where did that brain come from? Or, you know, or it's like, yeah, it's so like we work like the yin and the yang, you know, like I'll think of a melody and, you know, his mind will be sort of, you know, on this other planet, but some way it will connect with the planet that I'm living on, like a real, you know, a real visionary and a real inventor, but you know, he's also a poet, like one of the greats. In the last like month or two, no, it was the last, it was when we were shooting the live video actually, I, we had an assistant in the studio, I said, can you go out in Hollywood, it's $200 and buy me as many keyboards as you can and make sure that they have portamento and a drum machine built in. Like those old cheap Casios where you press Foxtrot and, and you know, you press um, the left hand and it'll play the bass, you know, the boom, 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 boom. And I'm just in love with that because you sort of get, you know, you go to the country setting and it just has the country bass and, and then you just write the top line with your right hand and. You can write like 30 songs in an hour, it's quite... So yeah, I'm really, really in love with like cheap keyboards at the moment. Oh, I'm still pushing for Carly Minogue, okay, but it hasn't come up. Man, yesterday this, I got this email from a manager and the kid had just got the, um, the crown, the new crown tattooed on his leg. And coming up to the show, so that was pretty, pretty serious. It's just kind of big this one, eh? It was like half his leg. <laughs> you 
yeah, there's always like the arm in the air and the kind of, um, I'm kind of in love with the whammy bar. Like the, cause there's something about it that's real sort of sexual, you know, like, like how Hendrix would play with the whammy bar. It's kind of like he's, I don't know, playing with a girl's breast or something. Really were in love with the We Are The People video we shot in Mexico. Cause it was a kind of two week adventure through you know, Mexico out into the desert. We drove about 14 hours from Monterrey down to Litla and yeah, got to you know, experience the awesome world of Mexico and its amazing peoples. <laughs>